Hello, Montclair State School of Communication and Media. It's your neighbor, Stephen Colbert. Now, I want you to know, though things are very strange right now all around the world, in the world of communication and broadcasting, it still goes on in its own strange way, as I can attest if you've seen me doing my show from the guest bedroom. But I want you to know, whatever is on the other side of all this strangeness right now, the show must and will go on. And the nice thing about show business or whatever form of communication you go into is since it takes everything human beings know how to do, writing, singing, dancing, directing, lighting, sound, music, art, painting, construction, driving, organizing, feeding people, doing the books. There is something for you. There is a place for you in this industry, whenever this industry becomes the industry again. So good luck, stay strong. Everything's gonna be great and you're gonna be great. Congratulations. This is Brett Michaels to all the mega grads of 2020, Montclair State University. You rock our world. Never give up that passion. Never give up that spirit. Go into the world and rock it, my friends. To the class of 2020 at the School of Communication and Media at Montclair State University, congratulations. You did it. You are done. Uh, before you go, there is one thing that I want you to see that I think you'll find interesting. It's the yearbook for the class of 1919, the last class that graduated from Montclair State in the middle of a global pandemic. Um, on page nine of their yearbook, there's a history of the class of 1919 written by the class of 1919. And this is how they describe their college experience. Quote, in many ways, our career here has been an unusual one. Probably the work of no class has been so broken in upon by unusual happenings as has ours. In the class of 1919 at Montclair State goes on to detail how they uh, lost their Saturdays one semester because World War I coal shortages meant they had to work weekends to finish school as quickly as possible before winter hit because they weren't gonna be able to heat the school. Uh, and how they uh, never got to go to the biggest party of their senior year because they had to go on what they called an enforced vacation due to the Spanish flu. Hmm. Um, and at the very end of this very similar feeling history, um, in the last two lines that they wrote in their yearbook, uh, the Montclair class of 1919 wrote a message which I believe they intended for you. He said this, quote, as we look back upon our whole career from our present position, it comes to us that we have reason to doubt the soundness of that old saying, happy are they whose annals are simple. For our annals have not been thus, but we have indeed been happy here. We have but one wish, may those to come be as happy. I think they may have meant that for you guys a hundred years later. And happiness obviously doesn't come from living a simple, perfect, uninterrupted life. It comes from navigating the challenges and the joys of the complicated, weird life you actually do get to live. Um, it's clear that the class of 1919 had a pretty good time at Montclair. They clearly hope that you did too. Um, but like those guys 100 years ago, you really are graduating into a huge, weird historical moment. That said, it is your moment. Own it, enjoy it, it is all yours. Congratulations, you guys.